my favorite ways to eat avocados. All right, many of you know I love avocados. I have them almost every day. Interestingly enough, there's actually more potassium in an avocado than there is in a banana for all you potassium freaks out there. Now, there's multiple benefits from avocados. Studies show that when avocados are consumed with a meal, it dramatically increases the absorption of vitamins and minerals. And particularly that goes for a salad. You actually don't absorb the vitamins and minerals in salads very well, but studies show in humans that adding an avocado into the salad dramatically increases the nutrient absorption of those vitamins and minerals. Who knew? Just like olive oil, avocados are mainly monounsaturated fats, oleic acid. It's the good kind of fat in avocados that actually might help a great deal when it comes to your heart health. Another great perk of eating avocados is their lutein and zeaxanthin content, which many of you know really helps with eyesight. And more and more we're learning that it helps with heart health as well. And shockingly, despite that avocados are mostly fat, they actually support weight loss. Studies have shown that adding an avocado a day to human volunteers improve weight loss as opposed to not having that avocado. Just remember, eating fat does not make you fat. So that's why I recommend eating one whole avocado a day. All right, so how are you gonna eat that one avocado a day? Let's talk about some of my favorite ways of eating them. Well, first of all, eat it plain. I like sprinkling a little salt and pepper on an avocado and eating it plain. Drizzle it with olive oil. You get the fat and the feeling of being full, and you get the benefit of the fiber in the avocado and the polyphenols that are in the avocado and the olive oil. In fact, recently in Paris, I had a sliced avocado as my breakfast every day, and the Waiters thought nothing of it. They didn't go, huh? And there it appeared, ready to go. If you need more flavor, try adding some of my miso sesame dressing. You can find the recipe in the Energy Paradox or on my website, and it's delicious on an avocado. So cut the avocado in half, take the pit out, put egg yolks inside the pit, and pop it into the toaster oven and broil, and then drizzle it with olive oil and put some salt and pepper on it. Take your spoon, and that's one of the best breakfasts you're ever going to have. You'll get all the lutein and the choline from the egg yolk. You'll get all the vitamin E from the egg yolk, and you'll double your benefits because the avocado will help you absorb all those nutrients. Now, anytime you use an avocado with any other food, you can absorb those vitamins. So whatever you're going to eat, Put an avocado with it. On your plate, think of an avocado as your vegetable side dish. I know it sounds crazy, but you're gonna get a phenomenal mouthfeel from having that avocado. Now, it's obvious one of the best ways to use an avocado is to make guacamole. But most of the guacamole recipes have tomatoes and peppers, which are not exactly healthy. In fact, true guacamole is never made with tomatoes. And quite frankly, true guacamole is always made with peeled and de-seeded peppers. So it's easy to do. And thankfully, there's a number of store-bought guacamole that you can get at Costco, that you can get at Trader Joe's, that doesn't have the tomatoes added the way it's supposed to be. You can use a dipping chip for guacamole. There's now some new plantain dipping chips that are great. I personally prefer Belgian endive leaves as my uh, dipping chip. So that's an easy, easy way to get guacamole into your mouth. And don't forget, guacamole in itself is great on whatever meat dish that you're gonna serve, whether it's chicken, whether it's fish, whether it's grass-fed beef. Put some guacamole on it, you'll absorb more nutrients anytime you use it. Here's another way. These are my olive oil pearls that look like caviar, have the mouthfeel of caviar, and put them in the hole in an avocado, scoop the avocado and the olive oil pearls. It is a mouth-watering treat that once again gets triple the benefits of just olive oil into your mouth. Now, the great news is 
I've got recipes in my books from everything from sauce to salad dressing, and I guarantee you there's some that you're going to love. The next episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast is waiting for you now. So a half a cup of uncooked sorghum has 11 grams of protein, and that's a real protein powerhouse 